he is in him all things are created. And so it says it in, in, in New Testament. Well, through him, but not by him. I've already made that point out to you. John 1.1 1, 1 doesn't mean he's God. All it says is that the word becomes, is expressed and personified in the form of uh, the Word of God. So it doesn't actually state Jesus there. In the beginning was the Word. I want you to consider one more thing before I just try to dissect that. I may give you a try. Go for it. So in the beginning was the Word. Yes. So you be the Word is Jesus. Yes. And the Word was with God. Yes. So the, by definition, it implies that he cannot be God because if he's the Word and he's with God, these are two separate beings, you see. Number one. Number two yeah. is that if you didn't persist in saying in the beginning was the Word, the Word yeah. was with God. Yeah and the Word was God, then you're basically saying that the Word, who is Jesus, is God, who is the Father, which is a heresy according to your belief. Because you don't believe that Jesus is the Father. So if you're, if you're insisting by saying the Word was, was God, that means you're saying that the Word, who is Jesus, is the Father. In the beginning was the Word. Just check, I'll go through it slowly. It's called the fallacy of equivocation. In the beginning was the Word. The Word is Jesus. And the Word was with God. So that's, look, you've got the word Jesus and the word was with. So you've got two separate entities. God is described as that. And so that you would commonly understand as the father. Yes. And the word yes. was God. Meaning the, you're basically saying the word, which is Jesus, is the father, which is a heresy. You don't believe that. You, be, you believe there are three distinct people in one person. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So all it is, John 1.1 1, 1 is saying, in effect, um, that and then if you read the REV version of that, it says in the beginning was the word, the word was with, the, with God and the word was what God was. And that means the expression of God is, is the word. First of all, I, 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 I accept what you say, I've heard that explanation many times before, but the grammar and the lexical analysis of all those words that you mentioned does not conjure it what that means why not so i think that is not what that means one the word okay i i i don't have all you made you made mention of lexicons so all, like all, your... the, all the words if we take the dictionary of all those words um the, what what god means and what god says and where god was um does not convey what you just said but that's an honest opinion of what you've what you what you have said but that's not what the bible actually says now uh, i explain in the beginning, yes. first of all, yes. no one there, yes. but God. Now, who wrote that? The, the, um, the, the, the author John. Yeah. He, he wrote that um, having having been an eyewitness of Jesus Himself. So first of all, he's an eyewitness. John is an eyewitness of Jesus Himself. But that's not John's words, are there? This is a prologue to to, to John. It did not. G did, notice the word. The word. That is actually a prologue. Prologue. What do you mean? Who, who, <coughs> prologue. I explain I, to you. I disagree. I, I'll explain to you then. So John's Gospel went through different stages of edition and um, redaction. There were three different authors to John's Gospel. That's a common Christian um, understanding. No, I don't think so, because he says, well, uh, all the, that, that's not the Bible, I'm sorry, that's not the Bible. But I hear you it saying, you've got, I'm, some I'm referring, you've yeah. got some technical queries. Yes. I understand you've got some technical queries yeah. about translation, about authorship, about authenticity. But, even but that's not correct. John is author of the Bible, it says it in the, in the front. So you're disagreeing with what it says in the title, the author, the apostle, of that book is John, he's the writer. Yes, we can talk about where the manuscripts have come from. We can talk about how the manuscripts um, were, were viewed by the early church and people around that time. How but they we're, but they at the moment, the we're discussing John 1.1. 1, 1. So me, John 1.1 1, 1 are not John's one, words. One, one more thing. Now, we can do this forever. No, but you no, agree with that. No, but, but do you we, agree we with can, that point? No, wait, wait, let me carry on. You said John's no, 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 Gospel no, no, was written by John. No, no, I'm listen to you. You asked me a technical issue, yeah, not a spiritual one. You asked me a technical issue. I didn't ask you a spiritual issue. You said A, B don't exist. Yeah. C, D don't exist. Okay, now, I wouldn't do that to your Quran. I wouldn't say no, A, B. Just I wouldn't, I, wait, 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 wait. I wouldn't say A, B don't exist. I wouldn't say, I, I wouldn't say Ali and Muhammad don't exist. I didn't say that they exist. I wouldn't say the author, I wouldn't say the translator of the Quran um, got it wrong because that's not for me to say right now so what I'm saying is this there's errors in your Quran also bring it up, bring where it up, you, don't, one. You, you don't agree with how secondary issues were created now you've got to accept that because I've read that many times before read what? that in, in, the, in the translation of the Quran itself yeah. there's schools of thought yes. that differ from each other no, but what exactly? What you you've got to make said. a rev. You can't make you're a, saying, you're you're a, you can't make a generic statement. What we're discussing specifically no, is no. John one one. What, what, what you I said to me. Just I'll just recap yeah. the conversation. You said to me that John one one is evidence of who Christ is. I then gave you a breakdown of what that word means because in effect, 
It doesn't actually no, mention Jesus by name there. That's number no, one that's point. That's not true. That's not true. What do All you mean? this is not Jesus true. Jesus is. All this is well, not so true. Where, does it say, does it say the beginning was Jesus and Jesus I say, was I tell God? I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I think. Do you accept no, what no, I just no, said? No, no, no. We're not going to the Bible on this. We're not, we're not going to the Bible on this. Well, I thought we were discussing you're, John 1 no, 1. No, I didn't say that. I'm saying you're talking about a technical issue. Now, it clearly says these things that it was written by someone who has eyewitness accounts of Jesus Christ. And what does that conclude in John 20? John 20 states that uh, John says that. I have written these things so that you may know that Jesus is the Messiah. He doesn't say, I've written all these chapters so that you know that Jesus is God. But we believe, as you're aware, I'm assuming, that Jesus is the Messiah. Again, that's not but true. I, again, again, that's what, not true. No, but what's not true about what I've said? Well, first of all, the word Messiah means Meshach. Yeah. God's, anoint, God's, yeah. God's anointed one. Well, there's many yeah. names for Messiah. One of his Meshach. Yeah. Is, it means he was the promised um, redeemer of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was the uh, it was the unction of God Himself coming and rescuing His own people. Okay, but that's a key. Where does it say God was coming and rescuing well, His people? The, no, yeah, well, show I, me the I, evidence. I, I mean, you, you made you, a claim. I leave you with the Old Testament. Come if it's that's so clear. A, that's a technical issue again. It's not technical. You, keep, you made a cite, I, I You made not, a point. Cite, cite I've been the there evidence. Five minutes, yeah. Yes. I have not disagreed with your Quran once. We haven't spoke, spoken about the Quran. But I have not. That's you again. What, what are you doing then? <laughs> No, initially. Well, what are you doing then? Okay, let me explain to you. So what's your guys? What's your guys? It, right, what's your I asked guys? you. You're smiling. So what's your okay, guys? Okay, so here's your answer. Here's your answer. I asked you a question about what the term no, son you of. You asked me a technical issue. No, I asked you what you the said, son. You said A and B don't exist. I, I didn't say that. It's been. Do you, you mind? Can't vouch first of all, this has been recorded. You can't even vouch what you said in your own mouth. Someone will disagree with you. No, let me explain. Someone to you. will disagree with you. About what? In everything you just said. You've got to take the Bible for what it says. You've got this. Let's explain something here. I'll take your Quran for what it says. You've got to take. I'm on camera. Yeah, but you've, you got, you've got to take the. You've got to take the Bible. Yeah, but that's what, what it says. that's what we're disputing. No, no, so when you cited John one, one, no, one moment, one moment. Do you think the Bible is correct? We say there's, there's errors, and, but there is some truth that's as well. What I was but there about. is some truth. That's a technical yes. issue. 